Okay, this part is about fertility rate and population growth. So it took until the 1800 the year for uh, us to see the first billion people. 1932 billion people, 1963 billion people, 2010 7 billion people, now between 7 and 8,000 people. Higher growth in poor countries increases due to development of vaccines, better health care, and better food production. So the replacement fertility rate is 2.3. The fertility rate, by the way, is the number of children per woman. So for the population to remain constant, fertility rate of 2.3. In the U.S., fertility rate of two. So in other words, not making enough children to keep the economy going. Migrants, immigrants are needed in the United States. Some fertility rates are less than four. Are bigger than four, like in Africa. So this is the world population increasing. This is exponential growth over the past 200 years and projected increase in the future. Now we're 2020, we're 7.5. Okay, the next 100 years. So future United Nations projections vary depending on the assumed fertility rate. So population keep on increasing exponentially high fertility rate it could level off and settle or it could level off and decrease for a low fertility rate okay now this is population growth prediction this is united nations prediction uh, this is 2015 this is the end of the century 2099 Okay, so uh, this is Asia and this is Africa. Presently, the population in Asia is 4.5 billion people, while in Africa is 1.3 billion people. By 2050, in Asia, population will level off at 5 billion, while Africa will be 2.5 billion still increasing. By the end of the century, population in Asia will be 5 billion people, remain around 5 billion, while in Africa will also be close to 5 billion. So this is leveling off and this is increasing. Increasing a lot, a lot, a very high rate. Because the fertility rate in Africa is pretty high four and higher than four, some countries like six or seven. Okay, all right. Now let's see. Population migration. So, uh, you know, sometime in the evening news, you, you hear about boat people People crossing from Africa all the way to Europe in dinky boats and going either to Italy or to Spain. Youngsters mostly. There are no jobs in Africa. There's no future. So uh, some of these boats are sinking. A lot of them died. But uh, they're trying to get to Europe. I mean, uh, if Europeans like in Italy, for example, are complaining now about like a couple thousand Africans trying to make it to Europe to make a living. Well, wait until the end of the, the century when there will be tens, hundreds of thousands, millions of people trying to make it to Europe. Italy happened to have very low fertility, 1.4. Italy cannot sustain its economy uh, without migrants. 
and they refuse migration from Africa. Uh, this is hard to understand. At the same time, Germany, extremely advanced, and during that boat people crisis, Germany accepted, let in close to one million people from the Middle East, from Syria, from Africa, and so on. So Germany is all set. They will not have a labor crisis. But some of the other countries, like Italy, for example, uh, the government is giving out special incentives, like 10 k per child. Uh, they give $10,000 to the family that gets one child, that gets one baby, and, and so on and so forth. So the population in Africa is, is uh, growing like crazy, uh, and uh, there's no job, there's no education, there's no future, a lot of dictatorships. So, uh, the future. Anyway, the same thing in Japan. Japan needs 50 million people extra, another 50 million people by the end of the century to keep its economy going. And Japanese do not like Africans or blacks to, to come work in their country. That also spells trouble. Anyway, okay.